Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumaya. So in this tutorial, we'll see an informatical scenario where uh, we can concatenate all the duplicate values by using comma. Here you can see I have a, a table called uh, tab. So this is my uh, contents of the tab, which is having 10a, 20b, 10b. So what I need to do is I'm going to load this source uh, in my mapping and uh, finally the result should be in this way okay all the duplicated uh, values should be separated by this comma you can see 10 had 10 a 10 b was there and it is finally 10 with the name a comma b so this should be my output we'll see how we can do this uh, by using our informatica tool uh, so here just go to mapping create mapping m let me name it as um, duplicate x ok so i already have uh, imported the source and uh, target so it's an oracle as it is a normal table so we're using a normal table not a flat file so here I'm just uh, dragging it uh, into my mapping the same way target also should be dragged into our mapping so my target name was tab dupli ok so the source and target is ready now the first step we need to do is we need to sort the values to sort the values we'll use our uh, sorter transformation so just uh, get your tran uh, sort of transformation to the mapping and drag these two columns into it and make sure that uh, double click on the sorter go to ports and ports click on the key on which you want to sort I am going to sort it with the ID and it should be an ascending, in ascending order ok just say ok and now the values will be sorted so that the sorted value will move to the next transformation so the next transformation is going to be the expression transformation so in the expression transformation we need to we have some things to do here like uh, creation of uh, variables we will see how we can do it go to ports double click on it go to ports in the ports what you are going to do is make make sure that you are uh, creating uh, four uh, variables okay you can see I have created four variables so let me name the first one as uh, val okay the val variable this is going to be a, just a variable so click on this and this val is going to just call the id and another thing I wanted to say is whenever you are uh, dragging the source and target make sure the ID is also of varchar data type you can see even the ID is also varchar you can change it in your uh, this uh, just uh, right, okay. you can change this here in the source while uh, importing it you can change it you can see here so just change the ID uh, into string itself so here let me uh, we, let me let us get back to the expression transformation as i said you need to create uh, four variables the first variable i've uh, given a name as val and it's going to be a, just a variable so it's going to call the id id column so i've mentioned id then the next uh, variable is going to be just say call underscore value ok and give okay. even this is going to be a variable so this is going to call the val this call underscore preview port is going to call the val ok so the next variable is going to be concat underscore val and even this is going to be a variable ok so here what we are going to do is we are going to um, 
now uh, give some decoding uh, we're going to do some decoding stuff here so we'll see how we can do this uh, so till here i hope you have understood we have uh, you know first uh, step is uh, we have uh, dragged the source and target then uh, we have made the uh, you know we have made, made use of this uh, sorter so that all the values will uh, be in the sorted manner and the sorted manner the sorted uh, values will get inside this expression transformation the expression transformation we have created created a new four variables where one variable name is val which will uh, call the id column and the next is going to be call underscore uh, pre variable which is going to call the val so making use of these two uh, variable we are going to uh, do something in this decode operation and finally this variable is going to be the output the new field 3 is right uh, this is going to be the our, um, output variable we'll see how uh, this can be done in the next tutorial so hope this uh, this uh, tutorial is uh, useful to you and uh, just stay tuned for till the next tutorial thank you very much for watching